Hey guys, welcome back to All and Allah. This is um, Quick Radiology, and today we're gonna talk about what the causes for a cupping of metaphysis. Cupping of metaphysis. Okay, guys. So this is really very important. In the previous video, we discussed about the fraying of the metaphysis causes, and here we are discussing about the causes of what you call cupping of metaphysis. So normally, remember, especially it's of a distal Allah and the proximal fibula of the young children. Okay, you can see the cupping of metaphysis, but no fraying. Remember, okay, in a part of distal Allah and a proximal fibula of young children. Okay. Distal, let me write here. Distal ulna and proximal fibula. Okay, guys. So you can see what you call cupping of metaphysis. But what are the pathological causes where you see? Cupping of uh, metaphysis. Um, they are rickets. Okay. Then we have um, what you call in a rickets. You know, there's a widening of the growth plates and a fraying also along with this cupping. Then trauma. Okay. In the trauma to the growth plate or a metaphysis. Okay. So you can see then bone dysplasias, like what you call achondroplasia, pseudoachondroplasia, metamorphic dwarfism, okay, diastrophic dwarfism. So there are so many diseases. So you can remember bone dysplasias, BD. And then we have scurvy. Scurvy. Okay, these are the causes for the cupping of metaphysis, guys. So try to memorize these things. These are really very really important for your examination. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.